All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back in for the High School Sully 2017 playoffs. Walnut High School versus Kamiak High School. I'm Brian Crusader King Strong here with Alex Magical Voice, bringing you the action for this best of three. We're excited to have you along with us. What's going on, Alex? Not much, not much. I'm excited for this game. Should be really interesting. We get a Warwick and a Sejuani played in the game. Always got to be hyped when you see those kind of junglers being brought at you. Yeah, for sure. And... Setting up this best of three, already seeing that come out is going to be pretty interesting, I think, for both of these teams. So we'll see what happens. Walnut High School and Kamiak High School, both of them in the round of 16, we're here now with, with our HSL playoffs. Walnut High School, the higher seed in this match of Kamiak High School, starting up as seed 47, actually is upset. Uh, if you're looking at, if you're going by seed number, they've upset every single team they've played so far as the lower seed in the bracket. So we'll see if they can pull it off again here for their. Uh, Round the 16 matchup. Yeah, and you always got to root for those underdogs, but you have to expect that Walnut, being that number one seed, they're really going to come in here and hit hard. They're going to look to just try to dominate as best they can. They have Syndrome, one of the best ch uh, champions for doing that. Even Trundle, if they want to go for a 4-1 oh, yeah. uh, uh, sort of split push, throw Trundle in a different lane, really be able to handle that. Even Warwick can do that to a great degree. Yep, Walnut High School here, just the higher seed in the matchup, so we'll see if it goes their way. Already though, Trundle is going for a bit of an invade here, wants to harass God of Women off of these Krugs, or, or yeah, off of these Krugs right now. He was able to steal one of them, he got one one chicken there, just trying to see if he can deny anything, but uh, Women will still be able to get that level 2. You have to get 5 of them in order to get level 2, just going to deny a little bit of experience. Had he gotten 2 of them, that would have been a really good denial for that Sejuani, really try to shut yeah. down the jungle. But now, suddenly he's going to be able to just at least get an earlier level 2 over uh, God of Man in that top lane. Yeah, it's interesting to see that, just that early harass already coming out here. A bit of a jungle focus as well, because uh, suddenly we'll be losing out a bit on experience against this top lane matchup, God of Man. And hopefully we're not, we're hopefully we're going to be able to not switch around these names throughout this match. Yeah, I know, that's going to be <laughs> an interesting dilemma for us. God of man, men, and women. That can't make it easy for us. Yeah, for sure. So, slow start to this matchup here, but Warwick may be looking to go for an invade already, or at least a gang on this top lane. Yeah, looking for God of man. Yeah, I'm going to be jumping in here, but won't really be able to catch on to anything. Glad's going to be able to get himself away there. Yeah, I, it was... A little bit that Subney was playing a little bit far up already. You wanted to go when God of Man tried going in really hard when he had already used his dash forward because that's when the Clud's going to be most vulnerable. Already kind of going into the fray instead of being able to just dodge away and maybe get a summoner that way. Yeah, so a little bit of early presence here from the Warwick. Not too much though in terms of fast rush. He's going to be taking away the actual Krugs. And bottom lane, we are seeing this Caitlyn Nami. Doing a lot of damage to the Ash Lulu matchup here, trading back and forth between these two, between these two duos. Yeah, Caitlyn always a great dominator in the lane. She, her range is just going to be able to just consistently poke at that Ash. The thing as well is Nami going to be able to consistently heal up Chet Jesus whenever he needs it. And so even if Yolik is able to get a good poke with that volley, it's not really going to amount to much because Fume's just going to heal them back up in bot lane anyways. So first game of a best of three here, round of 16. These are, of course, replays of this match. Not a live match for you guys here, but we'll be seeing what happens because Fast was coming into the middle lane. The stun going to land for Fantyra onto God of Men, and he's low. Ignite popped down to him. Sanguine Pool trying to get himself out of there. Will be able to, and Fastro <laughs> takes a dangerous turret shot. Gets pretty low there. And oh, no, the cannon cream finishes him off. That's first blood for Kamiak High School. God of Aww. Men picking it up. That is... Just so unfortunate because that gank going so poorly just gives so much pressure over to Kamiak and especially to the Vladimir who's already expected to win that matchup into the Syndra. Just going to be able to, well not win, but just deny a lot of the pressure that a Syndra would normally be able to put up with the wave clear with the kill potential. So already having a kill go over into the hands of God of Men. And the faster ho, the faster yeah. had gotten away there, we would have been like, God of Men is kicking himself for not using that, that ignite, but maybe it was all calculated. He knew those minions would go his way there, and the cannon keep <laughs> finished it off. Bottom lane, though, you look at the bottom half of that jungle, and we're seeing a lot of interesting jungle movement from these two junglers. Uh, 
God of Women's taking away the Krug here on the bottom side. Yeah, and we haven't really seen much from God of Women. Sort of just farming up hard in order to get that level 6. Really wants to be able to just use that Glacial Prison effectively. But now we might see a little bit of action in the bot lane. Yep. Punky is taking some damage here as Fast goes down here. So is God of Woman. Flashes being blown here as God of Man jumps in with that teleport. Damage under the turret. Members of Walnut are low, but looks like they'll be able to get away this time. Whew. Man, a lot of close calls happening for Kamiak, even for Walnut just to a degree, but Walnut barely surviving. Fastro going to be able to live this time. It still means that there's still a lot of pressure built up oh, across the map. Oh, God of Man with that roam into the middle lane has the hook shot down and does some damage to Fantyro. We'll be able yeah. to back away, though. Going to give a little bit more kill potential for God of Men on that Vladimir into the syndrome. Oh, God of Woman coming out of the brush there with the flash. All cylinders firing here, but now taking some damage from Yolo Q. Cool. <laughs> and aggressive movement coming out from that Sejuani. Especially when... Uh, his, the rest of his team was not in position to go for that. Fast really back down here. Off. The fight hey, here isn't ending there. in this bottom lane. Foom taking some damage here, but the heal's coming out. Gonna keep them safe for now. Yeah, but look at the mid lane. There's just action all across the board. God of Man, he wanted to go for that kill onto Fastrio, but not able to actually find it. But that's something that's important to talk about right now, is that Kamiak, they're just putting pressure all across the map. They have winning lanes really everywhere and they really want to go for these wins wow yeah you see that ignite and he will play drop down onto fantyro there he's going to survive with about 100 health Oof. but yeah nice some nice burst damage coming in overall though still just only one kill on the board despite how many people have gotten low if everyone had like a hundred less health there'd be so many more deaths on the screen here but so far it's just one of kamiak has the lead with that early first blood that God of Men got off of a gank gone wrong in the middle lane. Yeah, so we got to keep our eyes on the jungler to see where the pressure is going to be wanting to build up again. Fashiro, he might look for this mid lane gank again. He wants to get on to God of Men, really help out uh, Fantrio, especially after that failed gank before. But with how the bot lanes have kind of been going, I expect to see both the junglers trying to head there soon. This is... Interesting play coming in from both of these teams here. We are going to be seeing Fastro going to run into God of Man here. God of Man who just warded up that blue buff. And God of Man doing a lot of damage to this work, actually. Oh, but look at, yeah, look at the collapse coming yeah, in onto God of Man. The response. He's trying to get away the Trender Pillar coming up here. Fentaro is going to be coming in as well. Stun going just wide of him. Trying to get these ones down here. Going to lose Ooh. the mount. And yep, Fentaro finishes off that kill. A fairly easy one when it's a one on three. Especially because... God of Man, he tried going for the really risky flash over that wall. There is a point where you can flash over that wall that you don't realize. Yeah. And had he made that, he would have been safe, but he failed that, and so his life was lost at that point. Yeah, so now one-to-one -one that count there, and nice collapse coming in from Walnut High School with the response, so we're sitting even on these kills here. Bottom yeah. lane continues to just be this bit of a trading between here. Very popular, I think, bottom winners currently here. The Nami and the Caitlyn, Ash and Lulu on the other side. Yeah, more utility for the side of Walnut. They wanted to just be able to help out the rest of the team, especially Fastro, who's going to be going in really far on that oh trundle. Oh, my God. But now, Sydney, he's finding himself in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, suddenly trying to take away some of those Raptors there. Fastro will be jumping on into it. Going to have to walk out of this one. A bit damaged. But yeah, interesting. As you say, utility here in the bottom lane. We're getting, we're seeing a very nice pick com coming out from uh, Walnut High School. Just a lot of CC, a lot of bursts as well coming out from them. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Just enables their team really well. It's gonna try to make it so Subney can go for those split pushes, go for everything else because his team's just gonna want to try to counter any siege that's coming in from Kamiak. They have that siege potential, but Vladimir here's gonna be able to- Oh, here's the pick out. in the bottom lane, and Chandler Chris Arrow lands, and over the wall comes Fastro, flash out, and 90 caliber net by Caitlyn, looking to get away. Meanwhile, Man. middle lane, the stun onto Fantaro here, as two members are jumping on onto him. God of Woman secures that kill. Yeah, getting that one, I think with the red buff plus the Cinder Hulk, the fume, he went out a little bit too far, almost got him, getting himself caught out again. Yeah, it looks like he'll be safe here. Bottom lane, very close gank, but Caitlyn just able to get away, barely. 
Yeah, and that is nice for Kamiak, not losing the kill into that pick that was coming in from Yolo Q. That was a great arrow, and sadly, we did see the infinite duress from Fastro not connecting onto the Gatelyn. Had that gone, probably would have been the kill, because by the time Chet Jesus was jumped on, he was able to get out of that stun duration and get himself to safety. But that's going to be big things that are going wrong for Walnut right now. And unless we start seeing them go for some of these objectives, it could it could be flipped back towards Kamiak, who, if, as long as they are able to just try to wait out until that siege. Yeah, so now we're seeing God of Women come here with that successful gank on that middle lane and just that's what Sejuani was waiting for. He was farming all game to get that level 6 and get that stun down and that was, it turned out to be an easy kill there. Meanwhile, suddenly in this top lane, dueling out with God of Man, but he's going to have some support. The middle laner jumping up here. Fentyro going to be coming in here. Can he finish off this kill? Unleash power is up. He's going to try to go for it. And all he has to do is push R. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> well, Syndra, amazing Syndra outplay by Fentyro, but I mean, just able to roam up to that top lane, gets that kill. Bottom lane, though, we're seeing this dragon happen. Punky going low, infinite duress from Fastro, gonna land on God of Woman and they take him down and Chana Crystalero back up, Fume, Fume is taken out, Chat Jesus is next and that's three for nothing. And that is a huge swing for Walnut, but God of Men going in. God of Men going in all by himself there and now he's stuck in a one on four, gonna have God of Man in here, but I don't think they want to go for a 2v5 engage, so that's uh, three kills and a dragon over for Walnut. But that is a great play coming in from Walnut, being able to get that objective. Now, hopefully going to be able to get a lot of damage on this tower, maybe be able to get that first tower gold. That's going to really start swinging things back in their favor. They need to continue to put this pressure up, but got to be careful in the mid lane. And looking for this dive on the Fentyra, we'll be able to pull him back in. Got a men coming in, finishes off that one. And do they want to turn on to Fastro as well here? Looks like maybe they do. Fastro looking to cut himself out of this, but he just runs into so much damage. Double kill for God of Men, and they'll be able to make their way out. And Kled and Vladimir, the dive duo. It, that was absurd just to watch just the Skarl getting kicked away to redirect the tower aggro to God of Men. God of Men going into the Sanguine Pool to take it back to God of Man. So they always just take the minimal amount of the turret aggro and turret damage. So neither of them get actually taken out. Oh, kind of exploding into kills here and moving into the 13 minute mark. It's five and four Walnut High School and Kamiag both firing back at each other here. Three kills stacked up on God of Men. Gonna have to be looking out for this Vladimir in the fights, picking up that Banshee's Veil as a Dark Seal stacking up as well. Yeah, <laughs> the Banshee's Veil changes were just absolutely absurd for some of these sort of aggressive like control mages especially for vladimir i i think also for syndra but if you look at vladimir it makes it so that he's going to be able to go deeper a lot more effectively without having to worry about getting hit back as confidently by like a syndra by even warwick or trundle or even ash he'll be able to just jump right in there and go for any sort of fights but now, something that is interesting to look at is got to be that top lane, especially with how massive the level discrepancy is between that Trundle and that Kled. Yeah, look at that really CS giving... discrepancy as well. Yeah. Ooh, oh yeah, look at that CS discrepancy. That just Suddenly he's really putting that pressure down with that Trundle and just constantly shoving in these waves, which is what you'd expect a Trundle to do. Yeah, 30 CS ahead here. Also has zero deaths while... We yeah, have two deaths for God of Man, so we're seeing, I mean, the, the advantages, as you say, going his way, the level advantage in there as well. And, uh, maybe, maybe taking those, those Raptors at, like, level one, and again, at, like, level six helped out in some way, but we'll be seeing yeah. how it goes down. It's first match, first game of this round of 16 matchup here, suddenly going to get hit by this hook shot here, as they've just been, as he's just been pushing hard in this top lane. Something I'm surprised we haven't seen tried to go for too much. It's got to be that Rift Herald. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, still left open by both teams. Really would help out suddenly because he's going to go for this. The hard shoves really want to go for any pressure. Surprised he even didn't go for a Tiamat to really just help out with any sort of wave clear. Constantly shove in God of Man and then maybe even get a tower off of that. But got to 
keep our eyes on suddenly what his build path is and if his team decides to go for the Rift Herald to really enable that split push. Yeah, I think in the past few matches we've been seeing, you know, just Rift Herald traded for a drag and a Rift Herald traded for a tower of kills in that bottom lane. It's kind of a trade of objectives there. But it is still going to be up here hitting this 15 minute mark. We'll see if teams do decide to go for it because Dragon is already down. And none of these towers look really too close to going down. We've have we've had a bit of an extended laning phase. Oh, but Fastro, he's getting himself caught out a little bit in that yeah, jungle. God of Women going to be able to get that passive stun onto that one, but the flea will come out and going to make him back away. And I'd say going back to that Rift Herald, it still surprises me because that yeah. can be soloed out by Trundle. He doesn't need to bring he's the sold out by in. anyone. Yeah, and if he brings oh. any members, oh, Fastro. Wow. Good dodge. Yeah, Good looking for that, that <laughs> glacial prison there from God of Women. Not going to have that one up for a bit. Yeah, means that when this dragon comes around, we got to look for some sort of fight coming in from Walnut. They should try to get these objectives, really try to see if they can get any sort of towers, because as the game does delay, there is going to be this big swing for Kamiak, where they're going to have a lot more of that engaged potential from it. Kled, from Sejuani, both running in together. God of Men going to be right behind that, and then Chet Jesus being, being ahead kited around and kept alive by Fume in the back line to deal so much damage from that long range Caitlyn. Bottom line here we're seeing Yolo QGG with a bit of a CS lead here as well over Chet Jesus and just these small advantages going the way of uh, Walnut High School however gold is actually just pretty much even. Actually no wait sorry. I can't read obviously but gold <laughs> is going that's and that's why gold is going the way of Walnut High School here for this first game so far. 17 minutes in. Dragon's about to respawn here. 30 seconds. It's going to be an Infernal Drake. So one, both of these teams are going to be looking around for. Yeah. Uh, first Drake for a certain elemental. Never too impactful, but it always is just that foundation. Making it so that when if another one does spawn, it makes it that much more impactful. That's why people say like Ocean Drake isn't that great unless you have two or three of them because it gives you so much more mana and health regen same with infernal gives you that much more damage so we'll have to keep our eyes on it see what team wants to go for it and possibly if we do end up seeing a trade especially by walnut because maybe they don't want to go for that maybe they want to try to go for that rift trail but they're going to go for the fight in the box here is foom getting stunned up here but able to get away exhausted onto fast row polymorph put down chet jesus still back up and running now and nothing out of that kill on the bottom lane once again. Fastro not able to come up with the kill. They were looking to set up for that dragon. Yeah. Fastro not connecting those infinite dresses is a little bit discouraging to watch. You really would like to expect that if you're playing this Warwick, you need to land those because that is so huge. The amount of damage that comes in from that ultimate as well as that lockdown, it needs to connect onto someone like Theum or Chet Jesus if you're going to make any sort of gank happen. That. Seeing it consistently not happen, but look at top lane. Wow, Sumni just going in, flashing under, gets that solo kill. Wow. Wow. Guy Force Trundle for you. Yep. He's not afraid of anybody, and he just styled on poor Kled. Yeah, just regenning absolutely everything there in that trade. So it comes out on top and takes him down. And despite that pick on the top, we're going to see the first turret go down actually. Yeah, and that is that trundle fully enabled. Gotta expect him to be and able to- And the second. Oh, yep, second too. And now, Fium going a little bit far out. Almost surprised faster I didn't try to jump onto him. Go for some sort of engage, but instead his team wants to back off. They're sitting on a decent chunk of gold. They did just get the two towers. So really want to start backing, especially yeah. for Subni. Or especially even for, for Yellow Q. Yellow Q. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? 3,300, almost 400 gold? Uh, right almost 3,400 gold. Yeah, pretty oh. much is what he's going to have when he's back in base to buy. We have that Tia map finished up here by Subni. So some more damage coming in and some more wave clear for him. As he's just going to be pushing hard in this top lane. That's going to be two outer turrets already down here for Walnut or for Kamiak High School so Walnut's in a good job pushing and we'll see where they redirect their attention now that those two are down yeah sadly Rift Herald not taken by either side this game has scurried back to the void gonna be completely alone but now the Infernal does seem to be what both teams are having their eyes on yeah and we'll look to see what kind of things get set up around here but suddenly just once again going in on God of Man 
And Not wow. <laughs> really just forcing him out of this lane here. Yeah, and that is that Trundle. Trundle is going to just consistently do that anytime Clyde comes in. You have to maybe consider swapping your lanes, send your bot lane to the top lane to really just deny Subni that ability to just go for that push. But then also you're going to deny your own team that Infernal. So going to have to keep our eyes on Kamiak if they decide to go for the swap because they already are setting the Clyde down. It's like the, the focus for now is going to be on this... Infernal Drake suddenly meanwhile taking down that red buff gonna steal that one away, but bro, Infernal Drake a little bit more important for both of these teams here We're seeing instead of oh faster over the wall trying to steal a candidate secured by God of men He flashed over there. I don't know if I agree with that <laughs> I would have much preferred to have seen him use the infinite dress to go in there because if he hits someone He does lock them down. He can still use the smite as well as he starts healing but he flashes in there and then has to use the infinite dress to get out. It makes it so that it was a lot riskier and he doesn't get anywhere as close to the dragon as he would have liked to. Now God oh. of Women might be engaged on. Gonna get over the wall there. Fastro looking for a target to engage on. Not gonna find one just yet, but Sumni has showed up here and the stun under the turret onto God of Women. Hey, Sumni's like, money. all right, let's dive. He's done it before and he'll do it again. Fantyro takes down God of Women. This middle lane inner turret is, outer turret is next up. And this is going great for Walnut. They have the inside track on everything. They have the ability to push. They got rid of the jungle of the tanky member, but they got to be careful because here comes God of Men. God of Men trying to go in. Tidal Wave going to be rolling through here. Fastro going low because of a wild growth. Heal coming in. Oh, Just saving Kim, but Clep, the Clep's coming in. God of Man jumping in. Yellow QGG in the forefront. God of Men takes down the kill in the backside. A double kill, a triple kill. He's going in. Kled takes down one, a triple kill for God of Men is all it's gonna be here, but a huge fight for that. God of Man God diving man. under, he finishes it off. That's an That's, ace. Yeah, that is the ace, and that was absolutely ridiculous. And showing the power that this team fight comp of Kamiak still possesses. It was a 3v5, to keep in mind. We didn't see Jet Jesus pull, uh, pull into that fight until the very end of it. Just to help get a little bit more damage. That was really God of Men going in really hard with the Hema Blake, with God of Man and Boom, just to give him some extra health to just do absolutely absurd amounts of damage. Bastro was taking the tower for way too long, and really, those low health bars just cost Walnut pretty much the game. Because look at how massive that swung into the favor of Kamiak. Was 4,000 gold in Walnut's favor, now 1,000 gold and a Baron for Kamiak. Yeah, that absolutely just swung back here and 6-0 and oh on the Vladimir God of Men is going to be dealing so much damage. 10 stacks on that Dark Seal. And now Baron buff for the team here. They're going to see where they can push. They took down their first turret in that middle lane. And we'll see where they decide to go with this one. It's Baron buff on all five of their members there after they took down the entire team of Walnut. See, in Kamiak, they have a two-fold comp. I talked about how they had that team fighting comp. They also have that amazing siege uh, comp that we mentioned and alluded to much earlier. That if they have that ability to just set up around these towers, they're going to be able to just choke the life out of Walnut. They have the Caitlyn. They have that Vladimir. And if they ever get engaged on, they still have the Nami, Sejuani, and Kled to just disengage or re-engage if they need to. Him by Subni and just look how fast he looks to take down those turrets. God of Man's gonna show up here. Punky's gonna be here to help out as well. Subni taking a lot of damage while Growth to come in to heal him up. And now they turn their focus onto this Clen Flash. First step a top lane, maybe a bit more important here. Fastro getting taken down as the charge coming in here. Meanwhile, God of Man takes down the Trundle. There's the payback. He's gonna chase away Punky as that's three members of Walnut down. Kamiak pushing in with all five, with four in the top lane. Four in the top lane and the Baron buff. They're just looking to end this game as quickly as possible. They have that ability. They have the siege. Look at the damage coming in from Jet Jesus, who's got that infinity edge and that static shiv. He's going to be able to just take down these objectives so quickly for the team. Won't be in time to fully finish the game because Yolo Q and Fastro are about to spawn up. But they got themselves that inhibitor in the top ta uh, top lane. Yep. Inhibitor down just shy of 25 minutes into this game. It's that top lane inhibitor going down. Bottom lane tower just got taken out by God of Man as well. And suddenly just taking up tower shots in that top lane. 
until uh, he ended up dying to God of Ma a God of Man there. So was able to take down that inner turret, but his team has lost an inhibitor now. So scary spot here for Walnut High School after they just had a very good look in the fights. It was looking really good for them, especially that early game. They were getting the objectives they needed to, but just one, there's just that one call into mid lane, going for those objectives, and then God of Men going really crazy. Yeah, really that was just, yeah, just get, such an aggressive play there and confident play coming out from him. They had the back from Fum as well, and now the siege onto this middle lane inner turret. Looks like it'll be going there, down. But... Not, not too afraid of from Kamiak. They still are able to get a lot more gold for themselves. And their side lane's five. building up. Yeah, look at that. Look at top, look at bot lane. They have all these minions just getting ready to pour in. We even see Subney going to the top lane just to try to see if he can push out their supers a little bit more. But now that leaves his team at a 5v4 disadvantage. We saw what happened when it was an advantage. Oh, Clud coming in here. Got a man from the side jumping in. Tidal wave. Got a man looking to go in here as well. Knockups will land. Fantyro is low. A double kill already. And they're just going to clean the house here inside of the base of Walnut High School. Kamiak High School looking to take down four. There's only one left, it's Fastro. And that is what I just said, is we saw them lo Walnut already lose a fight when it was a uh, when it was an advantage for them. When they have a disadvantage, you have to expect that there's really no way that they're going to win that fight. This looks like it's gonna be the end though. Yeah, inside the base right now, we're about to this 27 minute mark, but after another huge fight coming in from Kamiak High School, They'll push it down, and they're going to be looking to take game number one here. Nexus turrets falling. They've got super minions pushing with them. Four or five members pushing. Wild Growth coming in onto Fastro, trying to keep this one alive. They won't be able to. That's Kamiak High School with the win in game number one. And what an upset coming in. The, what was that, 44th seed? Going yeah, the lower the seed in this matchup once again, Kamiak High School. <laughs> going Four, against the number one seed. And no, 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 sorry. Down. Walnut High School, the 31st seed. Kamiak's 47th seed. Okay, that's what it was. That's so pretty close, was. but Kamiak High School's so upset their way through the entire bracket. Yeah, exactly. It's just a huge upset that you wouldn't really expect a team to be able to do. It's just someone who's higher in the seeds, higher in the standings. You'd expect that team to be able to win really confidently, and they were for the longest time in that game until that one disastrous team fight mid. Well, we still have got the rest of the best of three to go through Magical Voice. We're oh, going to yeah. see if Wana is able to adapt to this from a Kamiak High School. Huge statement with this early win in the first game. 9-0-5 is the scoreline for God of Men on that Vladimir. Absolutely scary performance by him. Lots of confidence coming in. But we'll take a quick break before we get on to the second game of this best of three. Wana High School versus Kamiak High School. You're watching the High School Star League 2017 playoffs brought to you by Twitch. We'll be right back.